basically we're investigating uh, what happens to oil in high wind environments. Well, uh, in Gulf of Mexico, um, well, in some years uh, there are hardly any hurricanes, but in some years that uh, happens uh, more frequently, and the whale has much more field experience with that. Yeah, the average in the Gulf is four to five tropical storms a year. So we can always expect these kind of conditions to happen. Uh, in terms of the extreme events, it's, uh, it's less frequent, but there's been four extreme events in the last decade. So th these are important um, in the consideration of, of any possible transport model. It's a two-part approach. Um, Dr. Shen will be doing models, and I'll be doing experiments in the laboratory. And the plan is to use the laboratory to, to provide parameters which should be used in the models. And, uh, and what we are doing is uh, we are going to use uh, supercomputers to simulate uh, what is happening with the wind, with the wave, and with the upper ocean current turbulence. Okay. And uh, so with the increase of computer power, nowadays uh, we can really uh, real realize things quite realistic using, uh, using computer simulations. But uh, meanwhile, the simulations have to be realistic. So that's why we uh, will need uh, will measurement from the lab so that we can calibr calibrate and we can compare our results. And based on that, we can uh, find the underlying physics. And finally, the goal I see in computer simulation is um, after we have learned those things, then we can use the computer to uh, say, just imagine if there's such an event happens okay, on the hurricane season, then how are those oil droplets, uh, aerosols going to transport over long distance? Yeah. And the tank we're using is, is a quite unique one. It's capable of category five waves. Um, it's about 30 meters long, six meters by two meters. Uh, we can generate waves in addition with a paddle and the waves can be directional. So we can both focus waves with paddles and we can generate extremely, um, ex uh, extremely high waves just using the wind. Two different aspects. One is the ultimate goal is to improve the, the transport models. Uh, so we're, we're trying to get a better understanding as to how the oil is aerosolized under high wind conditions. Um, and we expect it to be quite different from most of the information that we've got so far, simply because there are no experiments right now which are really looking at the physics in high winds. So for the models, then okay, we try to resolve the flow details and so that uh, can match the measurement. Okay. And uh, meanwhile, okay, we can use the model as a very useful tool to predict what's going to happen okay, at a much in the field. Yes.